everyone thank you for watching our video and hope you all enjoying our videos and hope that will be helpful for your examinations moving on to the next question uh, the next question is this explain the components of transformational grammar okay this will be asking for eight marks and it is very important because it is asked in the previous uh, year question papers uh, in couple of time so this will be uh, the chances of asking this question will be more uh, let's uh, move on to the question before going to the components of the transformational grammar uh, let's have uh, some introduction about what exactly the transformational grammar is so this transformational grammar uh, was introduced by chomsky in 1957 okay so uh, we'll be having one term that is utterance utterance means surface representation of deep structure okay it's a surface representation of the deep structure what it what this means is it's nothing but representing the meaning surface representation of deep structure means representing the meaning so deep structure will yield many surface structure okay uh, one deep structure uh, or a single deep structure will be having many surface structure okay and next sentence with different surface level having same meaning share common deep level representation okay so uh, the different surface level with same meaning they'll be having the common deep level representation so i'll be explaining this by taking one example so that it will be easy for you guys to understand okay to understand this that is a sentence with different surface level having the same meaning so they will be uh, sharing the common deep level representation to understand this uh, i have uh, taken one example that is puja plays veena this is the simple sentence i am considering so this is a sentence right sentence is represented using yes the symbol yes so yes means it's a sentence so uh, these are all the sentences that is uh, np uh, that is noun phrase and verb phrase so uh, what is this noun phrase what is this verb phrase uh, why this surface uh, that is a sentence is represented as noun phrase and verb phrase these are all explained in the rules video uh, if you don't know about the rules so please go back uh, to the previous video and watch the rules video so that it will be clear for you and also that rules videos is very important uh, for constructing the past trees and also transformational grammar and also in module 2 to construct the top down uh, passing and uh, bottom up passing also it is very important uh, so please go back and uh, watch the rules video and also i have attached the link in the description below so you can watch there itself so sentence is uh, nothing but it is noun phrase and verb phrase uh, so noun phrase is nothing but it's a determiner and noun okay here in this sentence puja plays veena do we have any determiner here like uh, before puja uh, do we have any the a and a puja or the puja or uh, and puja we don't have any determiner right so eliminate this uh, determiner so we don't uh, want this determiner because we don't have any determiner in this sentence so coming to the next part that is uh, noun part so noun noun phrase means it is determiners plus noun right so uh, we don't have any determiner so i have uh, uh, dropped this determiner and coming to the noun uh, what is the noun that we are having in this sentence that is puja it's a noun right so i have written this uh, puja in the noun part uh, coming to the uh, next part that is verb phrase verb phrase is nothing but it is verb and noun phrase right this is verb and noun phrase so uh, what is verb verb is auxiliary verb and the main verb so do we have any auxiliary verb here that is auxiliary verbs are can will is these are all the auxiliary verbs etc uh, still more auxiliary verb you all know what exactly the auxiliary verbs that, is, that are the helping verbs so we don't have any auxiliary verbs here so drop the auxiliary verb also so do we have the verb in the sentence puja place vina yes we have place it's a verb right so i have uh, carried the place in the place of verb so coming to the noun phrase that is noun phrase noun phrase is made up of determiner and the noun okay uh, the, uh, let's look into the sentence again puja plays veena i have taken the puja here 
place is also taken and what what else is remaining it's vina what exactly this vina is this a verb or, or is it a noun what exactly this vina vina is nothing but it's a instrument to play the music right so vina is nothing but it's a object what is this object object is nothing but it's a noun right so uh, carry the vina in the place of noun so coming to the determiner do we have any determiner before vina uh, do we have a and the before vina no right in this sentence we don't have any determiner so drop this determiner so now will be uh, obtained uh, with the answer that is puja place vina that was the sentence i have taken that is puja place vina by constructing the structure also we got puja place vina okay next so if we convert this sentence that is puja place vina to the uh, passive voice it, this is in the active voice this is the active voice sentence and if we convert this to the passive voice it will be vina is played by puja okay how to represent this uh, in a uh, tree like structure consider sentence that is s yes, sentence is made up of noun phrase and verb phrase so what is noun phrase noun phrase is made up of determiner and noun so let's look into the sentence that is vina is played by puja what's what is the noun here that is vina so i have taken vina here okay in a pl in place of noun i have taken the vina do we have any determiner here before vina we don't have any determiner right so drop this determiner so next coming to the verb phrase verb phrase is made up of verb and noun phrase okay what is verb verb is auxiliary verb and the main verb okay uh, let's look into the sentence that is vina is played by puja what is this is 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 represented as auxiliary verb these are all the rules i have explained in the previous video so go back the go back to the previous video and watch the rules so that you'll be clear with this rules so why i have taken is in place of auxiliary verb so go back and watch it so auxiliary verb is so i have taken is here then verb what is a verb verb is nothing but played so i have taken the played and again now uh, by is nothing but it's auxiliary verb in the place of uh, verb we'll be having verb is made up of auxiliary verb and uh, main verb right so i have taken by directly uh, so coming to the noun phrase noun phrase is made up of determiner and noun right so uh, what, uh, look into the sentence that is veena is played by puja so do we have any determiner before puja we don't have any determiner so drop or eliminate this determiner so what exactly this noun now so puja we are ending with the puja puja is a person she is a girl so uh, it represents that puja is noun so i have taken puja in the place of noun so now let's look into the uh, sentence that is the terminals the terminals are veena is played by puja that is the sentence we are having right Vina is played by Pooja. After representing the tree, also we got the same thing. That is, Vina is played by Pooja. This is how we have to construct the tree. Okay, so this is the surface level representation. Uh, how to represent the same thing using deep structure? So deep using deep structure, we can represent like uh, the sentence is Pooja plays Vina. So I have uh, taken the sentence uh, like S uh, symbol, and also the subject we have is Pooja. So I have taken Pooja in the place of subject, and verb is plays, and the object is Vina in this sentence. So Pooja plays Vina. This is the deep representation. This is subject, verb, object. Okay, like this, we have to represent the deep representation. Okay, uh, you are clear with this uh, sentence, right? That is, uh, sentence with different surface level having the same meaning share the common deep level representation. Look into this example. Puja plays Veena, and Veena is played by Puja. Both are uh, representing using different surface representation, but these both the sentence are having the same meaning. Puja plays Veena is also same as Veena is played by Puja. So these two having different surface level, but we are representing these two 
with the same deep representation okay this is what this sentence means that is sentence with different surface level having same meaning share the common deep level representation okay